doing your cranial nerve examination today. Do you know what that is? Okay. So a cranial nerve examination is just a, a test, a few tests that goes over your sen your senses in your uh, brain. So that would be sight, smell, touch, hearing, things like that. Um, and you came in because you were having trouble with your hearing. So I decided to give you this test because, well, first of all, you're due for it. Second, it goes over hearing pretty extensively. So I feel like this would be the perfect test without you having to go to a specific ENT, ear, nose, throat doctor. Um, I do like to get a baseline in your heart before we start, so if you don't mind, let's bring out my stethoscope. could just please uh, breathe in for me. Hold it. Breathe out. Okay. Now breathe in. Okay. And uh, breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Okay. Breathe out. Okay. Fantastic. Your heart rate is perfectly normal. Um. We're going to work up in the uh, senses. I don't think we're going to do taste today because usually that's pretty much in line with uh, smell. So if your smell is fine, usually your taste is okay too. So I'm going to start with your eyes if you don't mind. I have my flashlight here. And it's not very, it's not br super bright, but it is, it is a little bit. So if you could please just uh, follow the light for me. Just focus right on the light, and uh, follow for me. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep focusing, 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 good. Okay. One more test with the uh, flashlight. If you could, just stare right at my nose. Sorry right at my nose, and uh, I'm going to bring the light into your vision, and you're going to tell me when you can see it. Right when you can see it, just tell me, and but remember, keep focusing on my nose. This is a test for your peripheral vision, okay? Alright. Ready? Here at my nose. Good. Okay. Alright. Few more tests uh, without the flashlight. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing you did with the flashlight, except it's going to be my finger. So you're going to look at my finger and you're going to follow it around. Okay? Ready? Okay. Very good. Up. Okay, and down. Okay, great. Um, Next, I'm just going to hold my hands out like here, where again, you're going to focus on my nose. This is another peripheral vision test. I'm going to focus on my nose, and I'm going to move my hand either a little bit right or left or both. And you're just going to tell me if, when you see, which side you see move. You're going to point to it, okay? Okay. Right here at my nose. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, next I'm just going to test your, um, peripheral vision again, but this time I'm going to hold up my fingers. It's going to be numbers. You're going to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? Okay. So it's right here in my nose. Perfect. Um, your eyes are perfectly fine. Um, you still need to get them checked every year, obviously. But for right now, what we're doing, your eyes are okay. Now, I'm going to move on to your sense of smell. And what I have here is just a scented Q-tip. Um, this is going to be some smell. And you're going to, first of all, tell me if you can smell it. And second, tell me what you can smell. So... 
for this one, this example, this is coffee, and if you smell it, do you smell it? Okay. And do you smell like coffee? Okay. That's perfect. Um, so now, I'm going to set this one aside, and get the next one, and this one is something different, and I'm not going to tell you what this one is until you smell it, so I'm going to hold this up to your nose. Can you smell it? What does it smell like? Perfect. Okay, next one. You smell it? What does it smell like? Okay, next one. You smell it? Do you smell it? Okay. What does it smell like? Perfect. So like I said, the olfactory nerve, or the big nerve that guides your sense of smell, is usually pretty in line with your sense of taste, so that's why we're not doing your taste today. Okay. Next we're going to move on to touch, we'll do hearing last. Um, I have another Q-tip, non-scented, so you don't have to worry about smelling different ways. Um, I'm just going to touch different parts of your face. And you are going to tell me if you can feel it or not. So go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to get right up close. You're going to tell me if you can smell it. Okay. Do you, or not smell it, he, feel it. Do you feel that? Okay, great. How about right now? Did you feel that? Okay. How about now? Okay. How about right here? Okay. And right there? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my flashlight again, and I'm not going to flash it in your eyes. What I'm going to do is, this is a metal flashlight, very small. And I'm going to either touch you with the flashlight or the Q-tip, okay? And you're just going to tell me uh, which one it is. You can say uh, sharp or dull, doesn't matter. Tell me flashlight, Q-tip, whichever one. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. What did I touch you with? Okay. How about now? Okay. Now. All right. Okay. 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 Perfect. Now we'll move on to your hearing. I'm going to put the Q-tip aside. We're going to move on to your hearing, and your hearing is what you came here for, so I'm going to go a little bit more extensively into this as I, uh, the, more than the other tests that I did. If you notice, the tests were kind of short. Uh, you might have noticed that because well, they were short, but I'm going to go into the hearing more extensively since that is what your problem is, and that's what you came here for. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move around to the back again, if you don't mind. Okay, and I'm just gonna make make a soft noise next to either of your ears, and you're gonna close your eyes, and you're gonna tell me which one it is. Okay. Okay. Right or left, remember. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Try to trip you up on that last one, didn't I? Okay. Now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go close to your ears. You're gonna close your eyes again in a minute. But I'm just going to say numbers in your ears, and you're gonna tell you're gonna repeat back to me what numbers I said. Okay. So you just. Close your eyes. Perfect. One, seven, eight. One, seven, eight, okay. Six, four, nine. Six, four, nine, okay. Seven thirty 
36. 19. 47, 36, 19. Okay. Well, that's pretty much perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the flashlight out again. Just sit there very still. I'm just going to look into your eyes with the, uh, not your eyes, your ears. So I'm going to look into your ears with the flashlight. Okay? Alright. Okay. Just, uh, hold still for me. Let's see here. Ears. There is a little bit of. There's a bit of impacted earwax in this ear. Um, I'm not sure the person to get that out. Um, I can prescribe you some ear drops. See, good. Clean some of that out. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This this side's pretty impacted too. That's nothing to worry about. It's just how do you go about cleaning your ears? Okay. Q-tips. Yeah, this is a. You have to be very careful with Q-tips, because what Q-tips do is, while it picks up some of it when you in, when it's in your ear, it pushes it pushes most of it into your eardrum, and that basically makes it so it gets in your eardrum, impacts it, makes it so you can't hear as well. Okay. Eardrops are the recommended way. You can get them over the counter, or you can come to the doctor and get them prescribed. Doesn't matter. Um, it's just those are the recommended way to clean your ears because it'll just make that that ear wax all loose, and it'll it'll just drip right out, in like the shower or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would not recommend Q-tips. They're they're great for they're great for getting the exterior of your ears. So this part, not don't. I would not recommend putting them in the ear canal. That's how that's how it gets like this. Um, but yeah, the exterior they're fine for that. They're perfect for that. Other than that, I I wouldn't recommend using Q-tips. Okay, it's an honest mistake. Trust me. Um, we see it all. We see it every day. Everyone comes in get one cranial nerve exams because they they can't hear as well as they used to and. 99% of the time is because of impacted ear wax. That's right. Okay. Well, I think that pretty much do it. Um, did you have any questions for me? No. Okay. Um. Like I said, don't. I would not recommend putting Q-tips in your ear canal anymore. If you get them, I can prescribe you the eardrops. You can just see the receptionist. She'll she'll write you a prescription. I'll rec I'll tell the receptionist to write you a prescription for the eardrops. Go pick them up at your local pharmacy, Rite Aid, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming in again. Did you have any questions for me? No? Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Um, like I said, the receptionist writes you a prescription. Get get yours cleaned up right away. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You're not, your eardrums aren't damaged in any way. It's just the earwax. Like I said, don't use those Q-tips anymore. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And if you excuse me, I've got more patients to attend to, so... You come out whenever you're ready. It doesn't doesn't matter. Thank you so much.